everyone. I... Oh. <laughs> this is the problem with having a house the size of ours. We're both filming, like, real-time get ready with us's. Uh, today and it's so difficult because we get ready in the same room at the moment. Hopefully when we move that will be a different story and with this one as well. Every single one of our vlogs you've got her in the background going <laughs> um, but I think I left my last vlog telling you how hyper I'd been uh, coming back from my nail lady and I am hyper again today. Literally, I'm in such a good mood. The sun is shining and I'm basically spending my day, um, I'm spending my morning getting ready. We're going to the BAFTAs this evening with Saint Tropez. If you don't already know, you would have seen in quite a few of my vlogs that Saint Tropez is the tan brand that I use at the moment and uh, they kindly invited me to the BAFTAs with them. I've never been before. Before. I couldn't find a new dress so I'm wearing the same dress that I wore not long ago my Victoria Beckham long white one I just couldn't find one that fitted me as nice as that one did and it's such an expensive dress that it would just be so stupid just to wear it the once but um, yeah so what we're doing is we're getting ready like hair and makeup we're gonna get in our car and there's gonna be like um, we're just gonna be in our scruffs just heading down to London to the Mondrian to meet the saint team. When I get there, they're gonna use their new saint gloss on me. So I haven't actually, like I've got my tan from last night, but I haven't done anything this morning, so they're gonna prep my skin for me. And then we're gonna to head to the awards. It's gonna be a very fun evening. So let's get into doing my makeup because I look a little bit tired. I went to bed at 1.30 in the morning last night, so I definitely need some eye drops. These are the best eye drops. They literally get rid of any redness. For my moisturiser, I'm using the Tom Ford Radiant Moisture Souffle. This is about £70 and I'm not too certain whether it's worth that, but it is very lovely. And I kind of wanted to try the entire Tom Ford uh, summer collection because it's one of my favourites. So I just purchased this when I was in Harrods. So I've let that sink into my skin and I'm trying to decide which of the Urban Decay primers I'm going to use on my skin. I don't really know. I usually use the pink one, um, which is the pore perfecting one. I think I'm just going to go with the one that I usually use though because I'm running out of time. Whilst that sets, I'm going to be using the By Terry Lumi Serum and the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. Um, I'm gonna put this on with my fingers to begin with. Two pumps of the CC serum and then one pump of the Luminous Silk Foundation and I just mix them together with my hands and I rub it all over my face like this. So that's just a light layer of foundation and then to just build it up in some areas I'm gonna use my Artiste brush, this is a new one, this is the gunmetal one and I'm just gonna pop some of the Giorgio Armani foundation where I want a little bit more coverage because obviously this is gonna be a bit more of a full face look so yeah this is what I'm doing. I find that the Luminous Silk foundation works best in spring summer and then the Power Fabric is definitely more of a winter autumn foundation so it's kind of like your skin but just perfected it doesn't look heavy or cakey it's just really nice and light now i know that people find it really weird that i use the yves saint laurent touche clat as a concealer but i love how light it is i don't get like concealer settling in the lines under my eyes so i really like this product as is not as a highlighter i know that people have their opinions on makeup but this is how i use it so and then just blend with a beauty blender it's just lovely and brightening under my eyes so it really lifts the tone of the foundation as well then it's time for bronzer and i'm going to be using the tom ford ultimate bronzer i'm going to use this to sort of blend my foundation into my hairline and just kind of give it that sun-kissed look because the sun always like hits me there. Um, it also hits me there though, so I'm not gonna be um, accentuating that. <laughs> my cheeks. Just to give a little bit of contour and then blend it down onto my neck. I'm gonna use two different powders to set my base. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette to give it some radiance, but then in my sort of T-zone area, I'm gonna use the Dior Forever Perfecting one that kind of like blurs your pores. So I'm gonna go in with this one first <clears throat> with L Pancake Brush. Just load it up. This is where I can go for like 
huge amounts of glow then just perfect my skin in these areas for blush i'm using the mark jacobs air blush in flesh and fancy this is just a really nice natural color for me it's like what i would naturally flush for my highlight i'm using the tom ford shade and illuminate palette this is in shade one and i go first with this i don't actually really use the contour of it that much but i use this here and i just dab it on so that it doesn't move my makeup because i'm gonna go over the top with another highlight i just love the way this looks really nice and natural and dewy And then to set that, I'm using, oh my God, this very delicate by Terry Sun Designer palette because um, I broke the other one. Now I've got these ones because it's actually, this is a limited edition one, so I managed to get these from the brand still because I love this highlight so much. And that just sets the Tom Ford highlight so that it doesn't like move around on my face. For my brows, I'm using the Tom Ford Brow Sculptor in shade Cappuccino. No, close, Espresso. And this I just use for the front of my brows. Yeah, I use this to draw in the little hairs at the front. Like this. I use the Armani Eye and Brow Maestro just to sort of lift the shade of my brows because this is like a blonde one. So I use it to fill in, but not so harsh. Softy, softy. <laughs> Setting them with Mr. Brow Groom from Givenchy. Contour, still using the Rodial one. I've used this for like two years now. that happens every single day. Lydia sits herself to the left. <laughs> Iron the Gillette gel. <laughs> Can you just make it <laughs> get out? <laughs> Eyes are fluffy. Can you move me back over please? Thanks. Back to contouring my schnoz. <laughs> Ali's in my beak. <laughs> Back with the shade and illuminate and just tappy tap on my nose. Then I'm also going to pop this on my eyelids as a nice little glow. Because we all know I don't really do much with my eyeshadow, but I like this little glow on there. On my lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Spice Lip Liner, obviously. I think maybe pinky because it's spring. So for mascara, I'm using the Christian Louboutin mascara. This is a new release and it's pretty good. Dude, that's a total understatement. It's a really good mascara. Expensive, but very good. Let that layer of mascara set before I do another layer. This tiny little brush just to sort of sculpt out my brows a little bit. Only with the Tom Ford stuff though, nothing too harsh. And there we go, makeup done. Yay! Now it's time to tackle my fro. To put the waves into my hair, I'm going to use the GHD Limited Edition Platinum Styler. This is the Tropic Sky Styler and it's so pretty. Look at it. I like these because they're so much easier to hold when you're doing your hair, like you've got so much more movement with it. So I'm going to use that to put the waves in my hair. Tell me if I got it wrong, but you don't want to be alone. It's getting late Got it all, babe Save arms when you're ready I'm here when you need me I'm yours if you'll let me Got it all, babe 
So this is my makeup finished. I put all of my jewelry on. I'm wearing um, my graduation gift from my grandma. Um, I'm also wearing my other gift from my grandma, which I've never actually worn before. So that's really, really exciting. Um, I've got Dior earrings in and this is my hair as well. If I can show you this from the back. So I've kind of, so yeah, this is my hair from the back. Just gone for like some loose waves and then I've done quite a big like bouffant <laughs> at the top and uh, just keeping it simple, keeping it simple. So our car is waiting for us outside. Um, Ali is currently procrastinating on the computer. So I'm gonna finish off getting everything together and then we're gonna head down to London in our scruffs and then my dress is hanging here and so is Ali's suit. So we're just gonna pop those in the car with us and so we don't like crease them up and get the mucky. So we'll put them on when we get to the Mondrian and meet the people from Sancho Pace. I'm yours. If you let go, boy, loving is a safe card. You don't have to play hard. Love and let go, boy, you don't have to play smart. We can take it slow. So we're here at the Santa Fe tanning suite and I've just had my gloss done for my skin just to like finish it. They call it a skin finish, but it's definitely made my skin a lot nicer in comparison to my foundation. I love it. Yeah, I'm all dressed. I'm wearing my Victoria Beckham dress, which you might have seen on my Instagram. I never actually got to vlog in this dress because it was such a stressful time last time. But yeah, I'm finally getting to wear it again and it's honestly one of my favorite dresses. Um, it's a nice sunny day as well. So we're gonna head downstairs and get some pictures and then we're heading to the BAFTAs. And we have a very special guest in tonight's vlog. Just say know yourself. <laughs> Robin James, come here. I'm introducing you to the vlog. Oh, to the vlog, hi. Well, I'm introducing This is Robin James. Hi everyone, how are you? <laughs> if you aren't subscribed to his channel, I'll pop it down below, but he's literally like the funniest person ever. <laughs> We're on this. <laughs> yes, we are on the champagne. Almost finished the second one. <laughs> Got it all, babe. Say bumps when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you let me. Got it all, babe. Save arms when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours. If you let go, boy. Loving is a safe card. You don't have to play hard. Love and let go. So we finished up at the ceremony now. It's probably really noisy in here, so I bet that you can't hear me. I've got my champagne though, and that is what's making me very happy at the moment. The ceremony was really really long and my YouTube video actually went live during the ceremony and I always like to like watch what's happening on there so I was like oh. but it was so good and we watched Joanna Lumley get an award I love her so much and um, yeah now we're gonna have food and I've got this one with me he's been my cameraman all night because I can't carry my skirt and my handbag and everything else so he's been doing that for me <laughs> how's your evening babe lovely you ready for bed yes I can't wait to get out of my dress. There, what do you think I'm going to do? Upload it straight to to YouTube with a naked you in the background. I just walked in and he like covered himself. It's very early. My eyes are quite puffy. Um, I didn't really get enough sleep last night. My taxi is outside. I'm down in London today. I'm meeting the girls from L'Oreal and then I'm also meeting the girls from Louise Viaroma. It is the most miserable day outside. I don't have any clothes to cover myself up. I might grab a um, umbrella though. That's a good idea. This is my outfit for the day. I'm wearing a Chloe bag, Club Monaco jumpsuit, uh, Victoria Beckham top and Manolo Blahnik shoes. Um, I'm probably asking for trouble but I don't care. <laughs> it's raining, it's a miserable day, but I have nothing else to wear, so let's go. A thousand words ain't enough to define body up, body up, yeah. Got a look and she wants it back. She's firing up that body up. 
So I feel like I haven't updated you on what I've been doing today. Um, I've hardly really spoken to you, which I hate when I'm out there and everywhere. But um, I've just finished up my meeting with L'Oreal and it was so good. Oh, literally, they're just the nicest team. I feel like I say that every time I mention them. But um, really exciting stuff happening. We've got a shoot with them coming up, which we'll be able to see like the behind the scenes of and stuff like that. Now I'm meeting my friend Stanza. Now I don't know, I'm sure actually you guys are so cool. I'm sure that you guys will know exactly who he is. He's part of True Tiger and does like music within like the urban industry. I probably sound so old right now. He's just gone to get drinks. We're sat out in a hut in the forest on the roof, which you can't actually see at all. Um, but I'm gonna enjoy a glass of Prosecco or champagne, and then I've got a meeting with Louisa Viaroma later to meet them and the team. It's going to be really nice. So even though it's really gloomy here today, um, and I look very tired, I'm having a good day. See how good quality that is. Yeah. This is my friend Stanza. Oh shit! It's a video. <laughs> Can't swear on YouTube. <laughs> this is my friend Stanza. I've known him since I lived in Watford. Watford Massive. Watford Massive. And w I'm group. showing him about my camera, so it's not very interesting. I'm showing him how <laughs> broken it is. Look at this, look. Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm currently in the lift in the Shard and I'm going up to meet Louisa Viaroma. This is supposed to go 0 to 32 in 15 seconds. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> oh gosh, I hate hives. <laughs> I've had some champagne so I've got wine eyes. Oh my god, I'm gonna look like such an alcoholic on this channel. I need to stop talking. Anyway, I'm going for my final meeting of the day and then I'm going home to push my video live. You think that I want you, but nah, nah, babe. You're one in a million, but it's not for me. I'm not into girls. Good morning everyone. I had a day off of vlogging yesterday. Um mainly because I didn't really get dressed all day and I felt a little bit down in the dumps. I don't know whether it's this weather because we all know how affected I am. Can't stop talking about it. Um, but I had a day full of meetings. I didn't really finish it off because we ended up watching Three Girls, which was such a good like three part series. Oh my God, we both got so into it. I'm just waiting for um, my taxi to come and pick me up because I'm going back down to London today. I've got another full day of meetings, little bit of wedding stuff to do. That's it, it's raining again. It's literally raining again and I've got my legs out and I don't care because I don't have anything else to wear. So if anyone looks at me weird today, just don't, okay? A meeting with Elizabeth Arden, then a meeting with Manolo Blahnik, and then I'm going to do flowers with Maison de Fleur. So I am very looking forward to that. I love playing around with flowers. Why do I always get hot when I like start talking? It's like I'm working up a sweat. I'm not. I reckon it is. It is working up a sweat? Yeah, it's called um, Yeah, I am stressy actually. I'm show them my back. Oh my god, Ali found oh, <laughs> Ali fell down the escalators yesterday in London. I wish I was there, to be perfectly honest with you. I wish I had been there. Just to have a little bit of a laugh at him the way that he laughed at me when I got my finger stuck. But that is Ali's back. Wow. It's like you put effort into it. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you my outfit quickly, but you you've probably already seen this outfit, but I'm wearing it again. I have ordered new stuff, so there will be a haul and lots of new outfits soon. <laughs> This is the outfit of the day. I've got my philosophy dress on, which is probably my most favorite dress ever at the moment. A uh, Balmain jacket, which um, is needed. I don't actually want to wear it because I wish that it was spring. And then my Fendi bag. And I'm not wearing my Fendi boots because it's raining, so I don't want them to get ruined because they're like fabric and pink. Totally inappropriately dressed, but at least the optimism is there. I liked how many of you liked how optimistic I was about the spring weather, and so I'm not gonna let it dampen how I feel about that. So, legs out, hopefully it'll be spring soon. <laughs> I like to move real close after waking up. off to the gym this morning because we had um, a curry last night 
and and we haven't been to the gym in about five weeks. We actually haven't been to the gym in about five weeks, so it's not that long. Is it that? It is that long, isn't it? I've been actually twice this week. Yeah. How about you, not been for a while, not not been going a lot at all. No, and I really just want to be like toned for my wedding. Like, is it? That, is that so much to ask? I think sometimes you get to a point where you just start feeling sad and you're like, I don't know why, and it's because you actually haven't just exercised. Yeah. Do you know what? You're right. I reckon that's why I was really down yesterday, not yesterday, the day before. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go and get some pre workout stuff and then. Uh, pre workout. <laughs> can't tell them it's a Red Bull. Um, and uh, head to the gym. And then later on, we're going to my parents' house for healthy lunch. I specified that healthy lunch. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> when the light is out, nowhere to be found. I'll just close the door and go for a closer run. Closer run. Closer run. Closer run. Right on time to give me some. We are back from the gym. Oh my gosh, we have more parcels. <laughs> a P.O. box one. So this could be from one of you guys. Let's open this one. Yeah, this is to Lydia E. Millen and, oh, that's out of focus. This one's to Ali, me, and Lumi. So let's open it. Not since gin and tonic has there been a better match. That's probably the best card ever. <laughs> so it says, hi Lydia, just a note to say that I enjoy your vlogs and so thanks for doing them. Also, congrats on the up and coming wedding. Choice of card, I do enjoy my gin. It is very fitting. Uh, so it's great to see you include Ali and Lumi in your videos. Keep up the great work. Rita G from Toronto. 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 I don't think that's Toronto accent. I think that's American. I'm gonna pop this here for now. Ali doesn't usually let me put cards out, but there we go. <laughs> I love it when you guys send me cards, it's so much fun. I'm gonna make myself some food. This is some sweet potato and I'm gonna have it with tuna. And this is what lunch looks like. Not particularly beautiful, it's not Instagram worthy, but it tastes good. And I, I can live off this stuff, it's so good. So I've just finished getting ready to go down to my parents' house and uh, it's just the weather at the moment. I feel like it's really getting me down. And actually Ali and I were gonna book a, oh hi. Um, Ali and I were going to book a trip to Ibiza um, and it just didn't work out in the end and I ordered some stuff just for it because um, I always like to have like new stuff to shoot when I'm out there so I ordered some bits and it still arrived today but obviously we're not going on the trip so I know that I'll wear this stuff on another trip yeah obviously there'll be affiliate links down below as well but let's have a look what's inside the box it's a big one but there's actually only two things in here so come in black boxes, we all know that. But I think one of these things you're gonna be really shocked by, so we'll show you the first thing. This I absolutely fell in love with. Um, it's just such a beautiful summer dress. More of kind of like a beach dress, I'd say. And actually really unlike me as well, because I usually go for like lacy and white, and this is everything but that. <laughs> so this is a dress from Emilio Pucci. Emilio is actually my nonno's name, so it's very, very special to my heart. But this is kind of like a very typical Pucci print, and it's got like lilacs and yellows and turquoise in it, and it's this bardo style. And um, this is just perfect. This is like such an Ibiza thing, just to throw on and look good and uh, just put some nice shoes with. And I think the shoes that I actually got, which has just killed it. Um, will go really nicely with this. So I know that when I go on my next trip, this will still get worn because it's just beautiful. But yeah, just love the colors of it. It's even got little sort of like orangey, corally flecks in there as well. So yeah, very nice. And my favorite Bardo style as usual. <laughs> Brown boxes are usually the enemy because we all know that these can be quite uncomfortable. So this is a pair of Christian Louboutin. And um, I'm pretty sure that these were actually the last pair. So I sort of panic bought because I was like, I'd wanted a pair of shoes like these for a long time. 
not really found the right one. So I love gladiator style sandals, especially in summer. And as you know, I've got the Chloe ones, which are slightly sort of um, lower. Well, these are your going out gladiator shoes that you put with a dress, almost like that Pucci one. And it just gives it that sort of Grecian goddess vibe and i saw these christian Louboutin, so they're probably going to be quite uncomfortable i'm hoping they're not going to be but i'm going to give them a go i'm going to try and work with them this is the first well this is only the second pair of christian Louboutin heels i've ever bought because um my first experience was so bad and see how we get on with them but these will all be like linked down below if you want to have a look i'll see if i can find them anywhere else anyway let's pack all of this stuff up i've shown you what i've been purchasing whilst I've been busy at work. I kind of like multitask whilst I'm at work. I'm like on a website shopping and doing emails. <laughs> Today I'm wearing my Jonathan Simkai top, my page denim jeans and my Manolo Blahnik heels and then my Chloe Nile bag. I've also got my Chloe sunglasses on which I cannot believe how many of you bought. Honestly, I think, I think this has probably been one of the best items ever in the history of everything I've bought. <laughs> you guys really liked them. Um, but we're gonna jump in the car and head to my parents' house. I approached you with a loaded gun Didn't know that you were carrying the similar That must seem like the most random evening ever. We ended up going to my parents, as I said, and um, then when we got there, we had lunch. Obviously, I don't film too much when I'm there because I'm just like catching up. But um, then basically we've got like family friends and they all, we all go to like the same pub and everyone was there for someone's birthday. So we went down and then like my friends that I like grew up with were there and everyone's like into music, so everyone's got like guitars in the pub, literally, it's like the most random thing ever. I think people walking into that pub tonight were like, who is this rowdy bunch of old people and like 20 year olds with guitars who are obviously very drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk and Ali doesn't, well, isn't drinking at the moment, but it was just, um, yeah, very funny, very funny. And then we went back to their house and we all had like this massive um, pot of like food and everyone was singing. It was all on my Snapchat as well, to be fair. Just a really random one. Um, and I look like I've got no neck. Ali's bringing up my water. It's a really bad angle as well. Maybe we should do it from there. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm actually supposed to be editing this video. I'm supposed to fin finish editing it tonight. I haven't even started and I'm going to Champneys tomorrow with Carrie. So it might be a little bit late on this video, I think. But yeah, start trying to edit it in the morning if I get to sleep now, so. You know what they say, better late than never. But never late is better. And on that note, I'd just like to end the vlog here. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm not ending the vlog here. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ending the vlog here. Please don't start clicking off. Um, we still have a very lovely spa day tomorrow with my maid of honour, so. Oh, are you putting that in it as well? Yeah, of course I am. Okay. What's it to do with you anyway? I was just interested. Um, so yeah, I've got my water. I'm gonna go to sleep. We have to have bottles, by the way, because Lumi sticks her paws in glasses and knocks them mm. over. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Say night, babe. Good night. I will see you in the next vlog. No, Ali, stop trying to end my vlog. I'm just, I'm just... He's trying to end my vlog. It's, still... <laughs> it's not the end of the vlog, okay? Please come back for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm glad you think you're funny. It's not the end. <laughs> Morning everyone. I'm up and I'm ready to go to Champneys with Carrie. Um, I'm just putting on some sports where in case we go to the gym there's no need for me to wear anything else. Um, I've just got Gibson Girl leggings on which are super comfortable. And I've got some Adidas tubular shadows. Ali and I have matching. <laughs> and I've got a Gibson Girl uh, zip up top. I think this is like a Primark vest. And um, Calvin Klein like crop top thing. Looking a little bit tired this morning. Because I uh, wasn't supposed to stay out as late as I did. But I'm going to have a lot of 
snoozes today at Champneys, so that's what we did last time, it was really good. But Carrie's on her way with Starbucks in tow, so uh, I'm gonna get ready to leave. <laughs> oh my God, Carrie's just picked me up and we've come to Starbucks to get um, a coffee. And she's like, what coffee do you want? And I'm like, um, I'll have whatever you're having. And she's like, no, but I have shit loads of caffeine. I'm like, that's fine, don't worry about it. And she's like, okay, can I have a full shot? What is it? A venti four shot soy latte. A venti four shot soy latte. <laughs> Can I pop my card up? I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. So we've arrived. Carrie's coming to Champions for okay, the first I time. Have sunglasses. <laughs> I'm probably proper squinting right now. <laughs> um, yeah, Carrie's never been to Champions before, so this is our first time. It's so exciting. I'm like an, a spa virgin. Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. But yeah, so we're walking up now. I'm kind of annoyed at myself though. I was telling Carrie I didn't get to edit my video last night, so I have to probably like cut it a little bit shorter. Us being here, which is a bit annoying. I think. Which way do we go? Health and Wellbeing Centre. So yeah, we're um, heading in now. We're gonna probably check in and like book our facials and stuff and then have a chill. What you wanna hear now? But they all disappear, they will let you down. So we better stick together. Let's go. So we've arrived and checked in. We're just having a little bit of breakfast, which is this melon and juice. And we've got our facials and I've got a skin scrub and a massage a bit later on, so I'm looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to it? I feel like I have to miss I know, everything's so quiet. So quiet. <laughs> well, I look sleepy. Um, I've just finished up having my full body scrub and my massage, which was so, so good. Oh my gosh, I literally feel like I've really been like, I don't know what the word is, like, stretched out and like rejuvenated from it. I know that sounds really cheesy, but I do. And um, I've never had a scrub before, like a proper one. My skin feels amazing. Um, I've got my facial at three and it's now about one o'clock-ish. So we're gonna go and get some lunch now. And the lunch here is like really healthy and just totally light, so you never feel like afterwards. So we're gonna go and get some food. Okay, so we finished up at Champneys. I had my first ever biotech facial and wow, they're actually really, really good. I'm not gonna put the camera on Carrie because she told me not to, but how was yours? Amazing. Yeah, she had a very good um, facial as well. I think I might have these like more regularly in the run up to my wedding because I can feel a huge difference in my skin. So I'm gonna head home in my comfies and not put any makeup on and just chill. So yeah, we are heading home. I think that Ali's gonna be still at the football. So I'm left to try and make a healthy dinner for myself without ordering pizza. Please follow the highlighted route to your destination. I will. Do. We will. <laughs> but yeah, I love the way that my skin looks. I just literally said to her, I want you to make my skin as like radiant and glowy as possible. And I think she achieved that. I guess I will see you when I next am in a video. I hope that you enjoyed my vlog. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and leave me loads of comments below. And don't forget to subscribe as well. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.